Good afternoon, Dr. Koshi. Thank you very much for giving us your time for this interview. I would like to ask you some questions about the data management in non-formal education. So we'll start with the first question. Um, so in your opinion, how do you see this, the importance of effective data management in non-formal education subsector? This is a very important area, although uh, data management sounds very technical. In fact, data is a fundamental component of evidence-based uh, policy making and also results-oriented management. And uh, it is uh, re related to the information for uh, planning, budgeting, programming, and as well as policy formulation, monitoring of the implementation of the program, and also evaluation of cost effectiveness of the delivery of the program and uh, assessment of its, its impact. And therefore, it is a very, very integral part of an uh, important uh, aspect of education. Mm. And based on your extensive experience working on evidence-based education, what are the main capacity gaps in data collection, analysis and its use in a country like Nepal? Well, the data gaps is considerable because uh, there is a lack of uh, administrative uh, uh, capacity. And within that, is, uh, there is a general absence of nationally standardized uh, uh, record keeping uh, and reporting about fundamental aspects of education management, such as uh, financial accounts, uh, inventory of uh, equipment teaching and learning, and then also information with regard to te teachers and their qualifications about learners and uh, le learning at uh, performance and as well as uh, achievement and assessment. Such uh, records uh, are not systematically kept and therefore there is also analytical uh, capacity is missing. Therefore, there's, first of all, there is nothing to uh, analyze, no data. And second, because there is no demand for analysis. This is uh, an area that is neglected and not given priority and therefore society doesn't care about you analyze or not yeah. and uh, therefore there is no it is not used mm. but they have to develop this capacity so that the uh, the the original intention of the non-formal education and literacy for the poor and the mar marginalized can be seriously addressed. So we need to build that capacity. Mm -hmm. And in order to build this capacity, I think monitoring and evaluation has to come into play. Mm -hmm. um, how can we effectively institutionalize monitoring and evaluation system at national, district and community level? Right. Well, institutionalize, what are we institutionalizing? This, this pertains to the basic function of uh, 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 planning, monitoring, evaluation, assessment. And for each one of these, we are talking about the norms, the standards, the criteria, procedures, formats. And these aspects have to be embedded into the regular functions of uh, education administrative structure. And uh, to do so, we need to uh, uh, develop the entire capacity of that, the, the whole sector, focusing on the uh, improvement of uh, education administration, in this case at the CLC level, where the actual education and training is supposed to be delivered. And that's the weakest link, and uh, therefore I'm uh, recommending that we focus on capacity building on, and good practices in the uh, administration of uh, the literacy and not in education. Okay, thank you very much for your time. That's a very, very good advice. Thank you very much. Thank you.